Hello, Leo viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, what action they might be taking towards you over the next couple weeks or so. Um, whatever the story is, the cards want to want to tell you. I know uh, the last reading I did, I was getting that you were kind of moving away from somebody, but there's somebody new coming in. That's a collective energy I've actually been getting for a lot of people right now. It's really, it's a really strong collective energy. So let's see what's going on. Cards, please be clear and direct and to the point so I know what the story is. It's interesting energy, okay. Got stagnation, complacency, isolation, loneliness, and emptiness. Love offer commitment. Pride and stubbornness. Cold, guarded, distrusting. It's probably about the ex or the past person. I'll pull some cards to see what new energy is coming into. Got cold, guarded, distrusting. Ex in the past. We have choose a path right here. Ooh. Got that card in my last reading too. See, really strong collective energy here. Choose a path and divine intervention and synchronicity. Yeah, I think this is just a really quick message for some of you that, you know, if you left somebody that was just prideful, stubborn, uh, negative, toxic, you know, you, you did the right thing. You had every re reason to be guarded with this person. It could be an ex, someone from the past that that's either about to come back around or someone that did come back around and now you're moving forward to somebody new. Um, it's wherever you're at in your story, but I think you are feeling stagnant, complacent, isolated, lonely, empty, just not showing where you were going with your life, you know, kind of just wanting something new, wanting something interesting. And I think that your ex um, or someone that you have some kind of history with here came back around and gave you some kind of love offer and they, they offered commitment, but it wasn't. So this has either come in for you already, like you either know this story and this is just confirmation that you did the right thing by letting this negative person go, um, or this hasn't come in for you yet and it's just kind of saying like, you know, the grass is always greener on the other side, kind of be cautious and, and take your time getting to know this person and feeling them out before you get too excited about this love offer coming in. Um, for those of you that are not in this energy quite yet, but, but yeah, I see a love offer coming in, but then it's like, you're going to realize it's like the honeymoon phase temporarily. Like you're going to be excited because it's going to be getting you out of this stagnant, lonely energy. And it's like something new, something, you know, it's something to focus on. It's something good or it feels good at first, but then you're going to realize there's so much pride and stubbornness and that you still have the same issues that you guys had in the past. You know, this is like miscommunication, um, them not willing to work on themselves, not willing to work on their issues, not willing to I'm just not communicate. Like, look at these two. They're just not communicating. They're just, she's looking the opposite direction as he is. You know, they're just, they're not talking there. It could be, could be ghosting, could be silence, could be miscommunication. There's just like, they're, they're not really stepping into their power and claiming you like you felt like they did. Or if this is just coming in now, it's like, you're going to feel like they do when they come through with these messages. But then it's like, maybe they're going to get comfortable or, or the same issues are going to come back around. And it's like, then, cause this is, I just see this as someone who's like stagnant. Someone who's like not stepping up and owning their, you know, taking responsibility for themselves. Somebody who's just kind of stagnant and not really claiming you the way they should be. And so it's saying, you know, you have every reason to be guarded and kind of distrusting and cold with this situation. You have reason to be cautious. It's almost like, what is that love bombing? Like that narcissist do like the love bombing thing. It kind of reminds me of that energy where they like come through really strong, like, oh, I love you, I messed up, blah, blah, blah. But then when they have you, they're just doing whatever. But the divine is coming in here. This is really beautiful because I keep getting these cards and these readings and it's a collective energy. It's going to be a little bit of a different story for each one of you, like what you're dealing with in the past and, 
and you know how you're going to meet this person in the future and everything but but the collective energy is there is this group of collective um masculines and probably feminines too for the for the masculines that are in that energy of being you know tired of their person's shit but there's this this collective energy of there's a, there's this, this group of coll of collective um, masculines and some fem feminines that are coming in that are just going to be so unlike anything you've ever had. They're going to be they're not going to be afraid. They're not going to be prideful. They're not going to be on the fence or not know who they are, or what they want. They're going to be sure of themselves. They're going to be sure of their connection with you. And these are going to come in quickly for us this year. It's going to be kind of unexpected for you guys. Um, and so with choose a path here, it's like, okay, I don't know if you want to entertain this anymore. You can, though. It's up to you. But you also have the option of going down the second path. And the, di the divine um, is making room for this path through synchronicity, through trying to get you to, to let go of, of control or stagnation or fear or anything that's been holding you back or, or toxic people. Maybe if you've got negative patterns, because I got that in the last Leo reading that there was like some negative patterns and stuff like that that you were, that you were trying to break. And, um, you know, because this is kind of like almost, a, it's a borderline abusive with the, with the, the, God, what is it called? The love bombing, you know, where they come in strong and then they detach, you know, back and forth, cold energy that you don't really want. So, so yeah, the divine is making a way for you here with synchronicity. They're, they're showing you that there's another path that you can go down and that it will require you to step out of your comfort zone. It will require you to have faith. It will require you to get in tune with this free flowing, free spirited energy and let go of control issues, let go of fear, let go of pride, let go of, of all the things that are no longer serving you, be it toxic, stagnant jobs situations, people, friends, family, exes, everything, you know, just completely like a flood coming in, just letting go of all the things that are stagnant and toxic and no longer serving you and making way um, with divine intervention for, for, you know, new love, new, new career, new things in your life, you know, and leading you through synchronicity. So it's a really beautiful energy here. What else can you tell me about this? What else can you tell me about? What's the new path? Show me the new path. So we, we have, we already know about the X or about the past energy, whatever toxic energy that was. Show me the second path. Show me all you can show me. And they, I, I do get a strong issue of control issues for this group. So, or a strong sense of control issues for this group. I hate to say it. I'm sorry. I know that's harsh, but they might not show you everything because they might kind of just want you to go with the flow and just let this happen naturally. Like they don't want you to they don't want you to overthink it. They don't want you to obsess. They don't want you to sabotage it. They just, it's like you're going to just find yourself and you're going to be talking to this person and you're going to be like, oh shit, that this is what that reading said. Like you're just going to catch yourself in this energy where you're like talking to someone and you're like, oh wow, this really happened. <laughs> Happiness, warmth, light, new love, faded encounter. See, faded encounter, like you just, yeah. And you have to let it flow. You got to, don't worry and obsess about where you're going to meet them, how you're going to meet them. Just live your life. Go out, you know, live your life. Do what you've been doing. Pursue your hobbies. Pursue the things that make you happy and passionate. And let go of the stagnant situations and the stagnant toxic people. Let go of the, the fa fa family and friends and jobs and living situations and just whatever just all the toxic things that have been holding you back, just let go of it as much as you possibly can and cleanse yourself of it and make room for new and better things in your life and just focus on your, your career and your hobbies and your passions and the things that really make you come alive and make you happy. And that person's going to recognize your soul and your energy when you're in that free-spirited energy, when you're being your true self, when you get back in touch with the person you really are, that's when your person is going to recognize that energy too. Pause, reflection, rest, waiting, hoping, praying, shyness, fear of rejection, taking it slow, pulling them in and getting to know each other, beauty, mystery, and enchantment. Put it right there. 
Yeah, see, this is like when you're in your light, like you're, what makes you happy, what makes you feel warm, what makes you feel like your true self. You know, that's when this this new love, this, this faded encounter comes in. And again, you're not going to be able to predict it. You can think about it all you want and try to figure out where you're going to meet them. It could be anywhere. It could be anywhere. They could find you online. They could find you at a grocery store. They could find you at a club. They could find you through a friend. It's, it's possibilities are endless. You can sit there all day trying to figure it out and you're not going to be able to. It's just going to, the divine is going to make sure that you're not able to too because they want this to just flow naturally. They don't want you to overthink and overdo it. They want this, to, the connection to just, they want you guys to kind of take it slow and get to know each other. Um, they want you to stay in your power and focus on your career and your finances and your hobbies and passions and stay in your in your energy, keep your energy, you know, hold your energy sacred. Once you once this cleansing purging process comes in and you really find yourself again, and you know, and you know, you might have maybe you've already gone through the purging process and you already found yourself, or maybe you're in the process of that of it. It's it's gonna be different for everybody, but they want you to hold on to your power and hold on to your energy. Treat your own energy as sacred. Don't just give it away so easily again. But um, you might pause and reflect on this too when this comes around, you know. I feel like you guys have been praying for each other. This is the connection you both have been waiting and hoping and praying for. And, and it might really catch you off guard. Um, one or both of you is going to be kind of shy and kind of afraid of rejection. But I think that... I don't see you guys letting that shyness or that fear get in the way, though. I see you just remed remedying that by by taking it slowly and, and kind of pulling them in and staying in your power and making sure you don't lose yourself to the connection, making sure you don't obsess, making sure you don't try to control how it plays out or how they feel, what they what you feel, whatever. Like just letting things, letting your emotions flow naturally, letting the connection happen naturally. You know, there's a strong emphasis on letting go of anxieties and control issues um, with this connection and just letting it all take place because this is a soul-based connection so the the control issues might work for mental based connections but for like a a spiritual deep psychic bond like this one that's coming in you're not going to be able to to present that energy in this connection you know it's just not going to fly um and it makes sense i mean i get it you know like if you've been hurt a lot you know you're scared and it's it's human nature to want to control and understand everything around you but when I mean when it comes to the spiritual psychic world, it's like it's kind of all about being free spirited and being open and just trusting the process and letting things flow naturally. That's when you're in the most alignment. I feel for me personally, I don't know, maybe it's different for other people, but for me personally, I feel like I'm in the most alignment when I'm just kind of like just grounded and 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 you know protected of course like logical about things but but you know going with my emotions and just letting things flow naturally and not worrying about everything but just trusting my guides and just trusting that everything is just going to fall into place naturally for me you know getting in in tune with this energy of divine intervention of of synchronicity of of just going with the flow trusting the process you know so yeah there is going to be some fear on both ends you know especially when this comes around it's going to be happening maybe quickly for some of you but the remedy is taking it slow staying in your power pulling them in um you know letting things flow naturally just getting to know each other and they're going to see you as beautiful mysterious and enchanting and that mystery you know you're going to you're going to see the letting go of control issues i think this connection is going to um, help you a lot because it's like you're also gonna gonna see the beauty you've been stagnant in the past you know you've been lonely and stagnant in the not too distant past and you're gonna see the beauty and the mystery and the enchantment of of life again with this connection and just this energy that this connection is calling for you to get into you know the energy of, of synchronicity of 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 free spiritedness of of soul connections psychic psychic abilities um just just flowing emotions naturally you're going to see the beauty and the mystery and the enchantment of uh of life again you know it's a really beautiful energy any follow-ups to say about this reading anything else you want to say Yeah, stay in your magic, magic, intention, power, manifestation. You know, you've manifested this, but 
tune into what energy manifests things for you in your life and what energy doesn't. You know what I mean? Because I think most of you will probably find that control and like forced positive thinking and trying to map everything out in your life. I think if you go, if you, if you allow yourself to pause and reflect and rest and be introspective and really go inward and be honest with yourself, I think you're going to, you're going to find that the control issues and the the overthinking and, and the, the forced positive thinking has never, never has and never will do any, any good in your life. You know, um, you you need to figure out where your magic lies, your intentions, your power, how you manifest, what, what works best for you. You know, I'm thinking for the majority of you, it's going to be through just that free spirited flowing energy where you just trust the process, you know? You got power struggle here and you got clubs, parties, and social life. We also have Chaser Chasey too. Hmm. Let's see what I can get from this. I kind of feel like maybe they're gonna be chasing you. It's like don't get into a power struggle energy. If you've got control issues, let that energy go because it's going to be different this time around. And then the second message here I get from this is also I think they're going to be chasing you. And this could be this, someone, you know, have a social life. You can't expect this person to find you if you're not going out. But I know we have to be safe because, because of COVID because COVID is so crazy right now. So I'm not telling you to go all out and go to clubs and whatnot. But it's like don't let yourself be invisible. You know what I mean? Let make it so this person can find you, but don't obsess about how it's going to act. Just, just live your life. Just live your life pursuing your hobbies, your careers, you know, having the social life that you want. Just, just do you just be active and, and this person's going to come around. So that's what the cards are saying at least. So thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this resonates and if it does go ahead and subscribe to me. My, uh, and my email is below too if you want a private reading or if you'd like to purchase this deck. Just let me know. Thanks.